guys. Okay, so I kid you not, I quite literally got the best package ever in the world. Okay, so I got my fog mask with a nice valve. It's a size medium, which is perfect because right under here, I have a gap between the mask and my new neck brace, which I absolutely love. There is several reasons why I need a neck brace. I get migraine headaches a lot, and whenever it's raining, I hurt. So, I was able to find this on Amazon um, with some great help from some wonderful people and everything. So, <clears throat> the Vog mask, which is kind of really cool with this, okay, actually comes with a little pamphlet here, 12 different languages, and it gives an expiration date for the mask. So, my mask, uh, well, it's good until 2019, and then it's recommended to get another one. They also have uh, instructions on how to wash it, if it needs to be washed. It has a carbon layer in here to be able to filter out everything up to 0 0.3 micrograms or something like that. Super cool. I'm wearing it. I cannot smell my husband's cologne or his cigars, which, because I need to be wearing this now to be steroid free for six months, he's not going to be smoking in the bedroom anymore. So I'm very, very happy. He may not be very, very happy, but it happens. So, okay, my other this neck brace. Super cool. It has these little dials and I can dial it myself to be higher or lower depending on how much traction I need on my neck. Super cool. It rests nicely on the collarbone. It's not itchy at all. It's made out of silicone, uh, which means it can get wet. <laughs> I can actually wear this in the shower and wash my hair. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I do have a mohawk. Both sides of my head are shaved. And then it goes down into like a little V in the back. But I have my hair up in a ponytail right now because I'm trying to just keep it out of my way. So currently right now, with the hair situation, I used to just have this one side cut because my head... Well, this is this side actually I had cut first. This side I had cut because... Whenever I washed my hair, my neck would go out. So I would have my wet hair all to this side to pull my neck to the right. So that my neck would be, you know, not as painful. So that's what I used to do. Well, now with this, I can wear this in the shower when I wash my hair and my hair gets wet and I should not throw my neck out. Super happy. Oh my gosh, if you've ever had to wear a neck brace in the summer, you will know exactly what I am talking about when those things get muggy. Muggy, muggy, muggy. So bad. It literally feels like you get choked. But with this, there's no part actually touching my throat. Touching my chin here. Stretch back a little touching my chin here, and then it touches my collarbone here. It's not doing unnecessary pressure even lower down. Sometimes I feel like I would like a lower down piece for this right here, but it works fine. The Velcro is super strong, and it even has like a extra extension piece. So in case those of you who have big necks, I have a very small neck. I actually wear children size braces on the most part except for when it comes to my back brace my back brace is full adult size so but my arm brace <coughs> i had it off for a little bit today my arm brace is actually a child size and everything i didn't get to pick the color but they did yellow and um it's okay, it got mailed from, the arm brace got mailed from California. This, I believe, is from another country that works with Amazon. 
And the reason is, is because I found inside the box a handwritten thank you note, which of course is like just Xerox copy, but it's a thank you note for ordering this brace. So super happy. And again, I was telling you about the uh, Vogue mask. 12 different languages telling you exactly what to do. And then what's really cool, and I like this, it has a nose pincher like the other ones do, but it's not as weak as the other ones because my other mask right here, I actually had to stitch. You can kind of see the stitching right there. I actually had to stitch it to hold the nose pincher in and one of the pieces of it fell out and it was actually a twist tie to bread. So lesson learned. I tried this type of mask with the beads and everything and it worked good for a little while but I needed something better so this is an upgrade. Totally awesome. Absolutely love them. Um, the Vogue mask um, I got told about by Christine Doherty, who's on YouTube, who um, does stuff about her EDS as well. And then also my endocrinologist recommended it. So being as I had two people recommend it, I was like, okay, this should probably work. So it's very nice. Christine, when uh, she had done hers about her mask, she actually had a code that was good for a little bit. Um, so if you find Christine Doherty's, I think that's how you say her name, um, video about her mask, you'll see she has actually this one right here. And then she has a code to get it for a cheaper price. Do not know how long that's lasting. I'm not in the know with her on that. So, but yeah, it's, it's more expensive than this one, obviously. This one was... $17 and this one's more in the range of almost 40 but it has the valve which is super helpful because um, this mask like when I wear my shades um, it would fog up the, the glasses this mask doesn't and it's got a nice thick layer like the nose adjustment piece goes actually like down to here on both sides so if I had a big schnoz, I could still wear this. But yeah, that is my coolness thing for now while I'm dealing with all this pain because of the rain and everything else. This has been my ultimate joy today. So hope you guys have a good time. I hope anyone who has EDS learn something new about different equipment to try this neck brace is totally awesome and i can use it in the shower so cool so I'm, I'm super happy with it and there's like no pressure right here so even when i swallow which i just do the liquid diet right now but when i swallow it doesn't interfere with my swallow at all so i'm super happy so all right I have plenty of other videos of updates about my EDS, where I'm at, with everything being I'm in my first year of official diagnosis. Um, I got my official paperwork in my medical binder. Um, I got all my paperwork for my medical binder in regards to my EDS diagnosis as Ehlers, Daniels, hypermobility, and hypermobility spectrum something still haven't gotten used to the new classifications but it works and hopefully when I see the cardiologist next month we'll be able to stop me from fainting all right hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday and I will give you guys the next update when I have something important to say <laughs>